What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Darksiders War Mastered Edition 100% Apocalyptic Walkthrough. In this episode we are going to begin my favorite dungeon, or sort of dungeon, it's not really a dungeon but they treat it like one. Anyway, it's my favorite area in the game and that is the Ashlands. This, this one's so much fun. Um, But before we do that, we are going to equip our, there it is, our gun. And if you haven't done so already, you definitely want to make sure that you buy the impact rounds upgrade from Volgrim because you're going to want that upgrade for the Stygian. So, all right. Um, do, 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 this ginormous worm. And a nice little glimpse into our first sort of puzzle. So, as you can see, this Chronomancer thing. Boom. And it's not really a puzzle. I called it a puzzle. It's not really a puzzle. But you just have to hit that to slow time and get across. Otherwise, the worm will eat you. And you can't dash. I should have said that earlier. You cannot dash during that. So. Stygian is the mean one. Um, <laughs> the Stygian and the one uh, uh, hanging out out there. But, alright, so hop on over here and hop up this way and get yourself this soul chest. It's a fancy schmancy soul chest. Not really, it's not really fancy. It's just a normal soul chest. But, uh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna take on these fallen angel things. I believe there's three of them, but I only see two. Um, the other one's probably hanging out down at the bottom there, which is totally cool. Um,. And yeah. That did not let me uh, do my my B move, so it's a little disappointing. Should be there he is. Come here, dude. Nope, that's not what I wanted. What I want I mean it works just as well, I suppose. Maybe not. He's just hanging out down there. Okay, cool. Um yeah, I know I, I mentioned this before. But I'm finding that on the PlayStation, um, my precision strike move and my home run strike move um, are being weird, I guess is really the only way to say that. Sorry, I'm trying not to get killed by the little electric waspy things. There we go. Um, <clears throat> okay. So... Anyway, as I was saying, um, and they're like, oh, you need to get that Chronomancer where you can hit it. So we will do that. Um, but as I was saying, the precision strike move, <coughs> pardon me, and that home run swing are being really weird. I don't know if it's just my controller or if it's just the PlayStation version of the game. But, yeah, that's just something to be aware of. Every time I hit the precision move, it's like, just kidding, we're going to home run swing. So, alright, flip the switch to lower this. And this is a mechanic we will use a lot in this dungeon. So, or in this area, I suppose, is a better way to say that. So, hop back down. Be careful not to fall in the sand, because the giant worm will eat you. Um, he is not a joke. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so hit this. Uh, yeah. Hit that, and you do have a limited time to get over here. So it's easier to jump onto, and like shadow flight onto the sand, it gets you a little further, uh, but I fell off the edge <laughs> trying to do that, so that did not work. Um, but it's, that's typically my, my go-to move, so. Alright, and then come around this way, do a little more fighting. Oh, giant worm. Giant worm, that's what they do. They hop up and they just nom. So. <clears throat> um, yep, using my, uh, my scythe for leveling up purposes, and I've, again, I've said this before, uh, you don't need to worry about leveling up chaos either. Whoa, hello. 
was not prepared for that. Um, I always, every single time I play this game, I forget that that's the point. The sandworm is going to attack me. Um, but, uh, anyhow, um, completely spaced. What I was saying, oh, so Chaos Eater is not something you really have to worry about leveling up. Because, one, it'll level up as you use it, of course, which is why I'm using Scythe right now. Um, but really, the only thing you need to level... Hey, okay, yeah, now I have to pick up. Sorry, guys. Uh, the only thing you need to level Chaos Eater up for are going to be your wrath abilities, like um, uh, Blade Geyser and Affliction, Immolation, and Stone Skin. But... Uh, that's the entrance to the next dungeon, the Iron Canopy. Um, and hop down here, Shadow Flight down here. But yeah, so unless you're gonna upgrade those, okay. So you see this thing spinning. Um, we have to turn it off. So we're gonna come up here and hit the switch. Just kidding. We're gonna fight first. <laughs> um. Anyhow. So. Yeah, you don't need to worry too much about Chaos Eater, and if you're like, well, you know, the Battle Hardened Achievement, you have to level everything up, it's sort of true. Uh, you do have to max level the Scythe and the Tremor Gauntlet, but when we get the Armageddon Blade, which is a story item, then, uh, um, it automatically will max level Chaos Eater, so, alright. And be careful when you climb up here because, as you can see, it still spins and it does still knock you off. So I'm surprised it didn't hit me. But. Ooh, let's kill this dude slow mo. Boom. Or let's not. Okay. Interesting. Um. And as I've said before, you. I, I wonder what. What uh, XP that got. Um. So for experience. You, it doesn't matter whether you kill these guys, whether you kill the little zombie guys, the little spiderlings, uh, which you'll see in the Iron Canopy, um, or some big monster like a trauma or flesh burster or something like that. You get the exact same amount of experience for killing the things. So you'll find I tend to use my, uh, uh, what's it called? Scythe on all these smaller guys and in areas where there are lots of smaller guys. So, and then I tend to use Chaos Eater on the bigger ones. So, that drill that I just highlighted but wanted to finish what I was saying <laughs> did not work. Uh, that was not a good, um, yeah. Anyway, so we have to turn that drill off and get under need it to get actually get into the dungeon. There we go. Sandworm's gonna get you now, buddy. Alright. So, this one's a little trickier. But we got a whole bunch of fight to, to get through first, so. Ouch! Jesus! It's not okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Scythe, level up. Awesome. Perfect. All right, and okay. Be careful if you're swinging your weapon around, whether that's the scythe or chaos eater, because it will detonate that shadow bomb. Not shadow bomb. I've been playing Dark Souls too. Uh, that uh, spoiler alert. That's the next series. Um, <laughs> or rather, the next one I'm working on. But, uh, anyway, yeah. Um. Wow, now I totally forgot what I was saying. So that's cool. Be careful not to get hit by that, uh, spinny thing. Because it's got spikes on it. Shadow Bomb. Shadow... No, not Shadow Bomb. Bomb Flower. So the Bomb Flower, um, will detonate if you hit it with a weapon. So be careful. I think that's all of them. Maybe. Right? Cool. Okay. Alright. Um. Wait. Ah. I knew it. 
knew it. And slay you. And now is that all of them? Yes. Perfect. Perfection. Okay. So, this one's a little bit trickier because we have to blow up that red crystal. So, hit hit the chronosphere. Chronomancer. No, chronosphere. I don't know why that is so difficult for me this time around. Anyway, drop down here with the bonfire and toss. That's not what I wanted. Toss it. Wow, that's never happened either. Okay. That was actually kind of cool looking, but it's never happened to me before. Um, let's try this again. Take two. This is what happens when I try and talk and play my game at the same time. Yay, commentary. Okay, so... <laughs> Wow, I am terrible tonight. That's insane. Okay. <laughs> Try this again. Um, there we go. Perfect. Right? Okay, good. Now I was a little paranoid. Um, come up here, and then now you can hit the switch to send that down, and we can make our way across. So, Wow, that was way more complicated than it had to be so much more complicated than it needed to be. Um. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know why I'm laughing at that. I'm just, it's, naturally it would happen today, so that's okay. Um. It's, it's been a very, very challenging day. Oh, please don't knock me down. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Perfect. Alright, and then... Go all the way up here. Drop. And come over here for empty vessel number five. So, yay. So what did we get? Life essence. So, I think I said this back in the Twilight Cathedral where it's kind of, it's totally random what you actually get in there. Um, let me talk about this real quick. Okay, see that Abyssal Chain point? We'll come back for that when we get the Abyssal Chain, but on the other side of that is um, an Abyssal Armor piece. So, we'll definitely be back for that. But, um, I totally spaced what I was saying. Totally spaced what I was saying. That's okay. It's, you, do, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll remember it at some point. Okay. What in the heck? There we go. Maybe? Where did you go? There it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, up, 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 up. There we go. Come across. Like we do. No. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hope you're a good snack for the sandworm. Alright. So, come up here and... I thought there was a soul chest, but I am mistaken. Um. Flip the switch and stop the drill. Yay! Uh, and there we go. There is the entrance to... Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. You swing over here, and that drill um, actually is the entrance to where we get the Overlord artifact. So, I was wrong. Not Abyssal Chain point. I was thinking... Or Abyssal Armor piece. I was thinking Abyssal Chain. That is where we get the Overlord artifact, which is the only Overlord artifact in the entire game. So, there we go. Um, Alright, and right there is our Overlord Artifact. But like I said, we can't get it. However, we can dive down and get ourselves a Soldier Artifact. So, I think I said Overlord. Overlord is the one hanging out in that little windowy area. This is a Soldier Artifact. So, alright, Soldier Artifact number 16 out of 27. We are getting close to the end of there. Alright, let's... Now nah, we're about like halfway. We're almost at that, or we're at like the halfway mark. 
I was getting optimistic. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, um, where am I at? Where am I at? Oh, hello. Ouch. You stupid, nasty piranha. Electric piranha. Alright, hold up. Hold the phone. Alright, there's the overlord artifact. Perfect. Alright, so over here. I got all turned around when I was fighting. <laughs> um, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. It's not the right music. That's okay. Um, so over here, make sure you've got your trimmer gauntlet equipped. Boom. Is this thing. Da, 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 da. We've seen this before. We've seen, seen this mechanic before. And take it and punch it and let the the uh gorma that's a gorma I think I called it a grapple maw earlier or at what at one point but the grapple maw are um those giant weird cat triceratops things it's probably a really weird way to describe them but the things that I hate the most those are grapple maws all right, um, come over here, eat this, hit this. If you don't, you will get eaten. It is a sad fact of life. Um, and you can see all these little spots on the ground are where those uh, Gormas are. But most importantly, they block this door and we need this door. That was really close, wow. Um, so grab the bomb flower, toss it up here. Explosions and it drops down our platform. Do 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 do. Um, okay, and then don't go out there immediately because you will get eaten. Hit this one and then make your way out, and then you won't get eaten, and it'll be a, a fine, dandy, joyful day. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know what my deal is. Okay. So, I like to kill these things before uh, we get our next little collectible. And the reason for that is because they always attack me, and it makes it easier to come back through. At least for me. It, you may not want to do it that way, and that's totally fine. It's however you want to do it. This is just the way that I do it. So, mostly because they have a tendency to... Like I said, attack ow. Attack me when I don't want them to. Not that I ever ow. Not that I ever want them to attack me, but you guys get the point. You are intelligent human beings. Flip the saw. No, it my B move went away. Why? 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 Oh my goodness. Okay. Usually they hit me on this geyser ball and knock me off and it's just a sad, sad day. Um, over here is actually, it's called, I believe, Strife's... I almost said Blessing, but that's not right. Strife something or another. Lifestone chart number 10. Um, and it is a gun uh, enhancement, so... And the second of four legendary enhancements. So we will be back for that um, not long after completing the dungeon. So, yeah. Alright, I hop up here and up here. And you might think that there's something in the water, like an artifact or something. I did the first time I played. There's not. Um, there's nothing but those... Well, no, there's nothing in there, actually, now that I think about it. I was going to say there are those uh, mean electric piranha things, but there's not. Gosh, I have the hiccups. Um, Alrighty, so come over here and get yourself a sword chest. And this actually, this well thing is actually um, a neat little, like, glitch that I'll show you guys later. But in the meantime, everyone, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we will continue with um, 
the Ashlands, and we probably won't finish it in the next episode because there's a ton of fighting, and it's super fun, it's super action-packed, and just, I don't, I don't know, it's just really fun. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching, I will see you guys in the next video.